Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. One year back I did one video for Purview and the, from then and now some change has been happened to Purview that some UI has been changed, some rename has been happened. So I was thinking to create one more time this small video for how to create and how it looks like now. And in next video I am trying to connect a snowflake with a um, with purview and see that how we are able to connect and pull that asset which is registered which is present into a snowflake that is third party right so my microsoft purview is a tool used for data governance purpose right you have lot of data present into either maybe azure or my maybe onto on-premises server or maybe into different cloud itself and your organization and your company wants to see that holistic view of all the data where it is there, which kind of data is present, right? And due to different reason, maybe the compliance is a reason to see who is accessing this one, what is the access given to that people, is that uh, data which is sits into this disparate sources are their their details are good or not? They have. To, business meaning associated with the data or not so that that if you see this one this tool that data producer and consumer are going going to consume from different places right producer can be that uh, producing data from sql server power bi azure sql they are may, may be consuming from that one but they want to see that one where that other data shares are there discovery is one of the big problem if we have seen that one that there are data present into a lot of different places one team does not know that uh, where that uh, if similar data is exist in other places and how to find out so if uh, we integrate all the data resides into that one into single instance of uh, Azure purview, then a lot of people will come and you can expose this one by API or maybe in, in you can add everybody to search into that portal itself and then then come and then see that what data is available, what is that details of the data, right? They have, if you see this one, discovery challenges for data consumers that they are not able to that when there is no central location to check that one. So that how that tool is going to use. They can find the metadata of this data in they can find that when labels different classification label given to them and they can start a workflow of also which is in build for if somebody is trying to access the data get the access for the data how to do that when all this you can configure into same place so let's go into quickly and let's try to create one time Okay, so this is created. Let's go to this resource. And once we come to resource, we can see that there are two links for governance portal and manage user. Both will take to us that portal itself, governance portal. And then we can see details. So let me go and click this one. Where this is the home page where if you see this one, uh, there is no asset registered because we just created right now. There will be no uh, source also configured in this one. So let's let this come. And then if we go into browse asset, there will be no asset because we have not created into that one. So any source type, anything is there, not there. So if you find that one, no result will come. And if we go into man glossary section also, we have not created any term and in any template we have not created. And when we are into data map section and when we will register a collection is important thing added that 
कलेक्शन इज वी कैन एड कलेक्शन इन सब कलेक्शन कलेक्शन बेस्ड ऑन हाउ अवर कंपनी वर्क राइट वी वी माइट हैव डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दिस आइडिया इज देयर दैट यू यू क्रिएट ए पर व्यू अकाउंट बेस्ड ऑन योर कंपनी एंड देन इफ यू हैव एच आर डिपार्टमेंट इफ यू हैव फिनांस डिपार्टमेंट इफ यू हैव सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट एवरी वन विल क्रिएट देयर ओन कलेक्शन एंड एंड देन स्टार्ट पोसिंग द डाटा इन टू डेयर कलेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग द कलेक्शन देयर विल बी एडमिन फॉर दैट कलेक्शन एंड सब कलेक्शन ऑल्सो यू कैन गो राइट इफ यू से दैट ओके एच आर कलेक्शन देन वी कैन पुट सम नेम दैट हु इज गोइंग टू बी एडमिन फॉर दिस वन एंड देन इफ यू गो इन टू एच आर दैट यू कैन हैव सब कलेक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो दैट ओके टीम ए और इन एच आर में भी दैट यू हैव hiring team or hiring unit right or or any other things job or something i don't know the department or team how you are going to divide so that that way we can divide and then that way if we set up the source then if we go in details that it will come here that how we are going to do that one which when we register the source it is going to come and if you see the source uh, that how much source it is supported right it is supported you can you can have in that case of uh, hybrid cloud where somebody something you have into um, aws you can use that one you have something into i have snaps and blob data lake or outside of also you can pull from big query uh, and sap snowflake which i am going to use our in next video from azure it is there from different database you can have pull and then all the set which is in different different sources can come in here so you can pull all the things at in one place and you can build a great catalog so that your team can be founding that one so once you start adding sources and collections it will look like this one the graph view the data map view that what is the root collection what is the organization view what is the sources we have all added and we if we go in details we can see how assets how many assets are there how many scans is happened so you can see and if we go to data state inside then we can see that uh in in the data is to toward ship we can see that okay in the sales uh, collection we have six asset and there is no classification applied there is no queried we have assigned uh, ownership in one resource there is no classifications all these details will come and if you change the view to asset view uh, or you change the view from here also to see that if you cut catalog adoption you will see that there are six view movie name and other things you can change the view and also if when you go to asset section we can see that okay there are six assets which is classified or new what is the details for all this we can see size and other things it will come slowly slowly that once the scanning will start happening the size and other things will come glossary view we can see that how many terms we have with asset asset is just specified and how many terms is new whatever in complete terms or all the details is can how many is approved is there so all details is started coming so we can see that one and it it has lot of uh, good documentation also you can we can go ahead and see that one and basically all this after once having that uh, details we can also set up the lineage that how it is coming from different sources how this is being transformed and other things right we can set up all these details and then maybe this ui or maybe you our team can build a different ui all together to uh, expose that one as a as a discovery portal so both can be used it has api also which can be leveraged for building that kind of tools also uh, if we can see that in detail that uh, whatever data source is being selected here also in the files also which region it is supporting right now per view which scanner regions are there which kind of file is being supported for um, scanning so abrobo or k parke all this uh, 
right all this uh, is there nested data type in json and other things right we we have uh, i mean the support everything is there also we can see that classification that how much classification is being supported so yeah person name or routing number all the details when a scan happens that it it samples some files some records and figure out what is uh, there in that record so that it can limit that one right it can if it can classify that one so that that is also used very useful when we scan that one Teams can come and search that um, catalog and request access if we get the details. And also we can create the workflow that, uh, um, how that workflow is going to be talked, that this is the workflow is going to be there, that uh, to send which to approval and if approval is then, then grant the access and other things that we can do. We will see that in working um, slowly. Uh, this was that overview for this one. Okay.